medical care that is better than what the president receives right now. So don't go into medical school. Yes, yeah. pointless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if, if, unless you, uh, but I, I would say that applies to any form of education. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like some, I do it for social reasons. Yeah. Medical, you're not going to medical school. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, yeah, if you want to hang out, out with like-minded people, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people are still going to want to be connected with people. We're always Everyone. Good evening. So if Elon Musk is right, school as we know it changes. Hospitals as we know them change. The two most expensive things in modern life, getting smart and staying alive, could be the first to get disrupted. Today, OpenAI didn't just launch a feature. They fired a missile, which is aimed directly at the trillion dollar inefficiencies of our doctor's office. This is front page by AIM Network. Before we break down the narrative war, please smash that like and subscribe button. Now that you're warmed up, let's get into it. First, the money. As they say, follow the money. Musk talks about moonshots. OpenAI talks about survival. But you know what? No one is mentioning the brutal financial reality. HSBC estimates OpenAI has committed nearly $1.4 trillion in compute capacity for the next decade. Between now and 2030 alone, $792 billion. And when, of course, we compare that to their revenue, only about $20 billion a year. That's barely 1.4% of the bill they just signed up for. And if they hit a massive $200 billion in revenue by 2030, that is, of course, the best case scenario, there is still a $207 billion funding gap. Partners like Oracle and SoftBank have taken on $96 billion in fresh debt just to feed these models. So, how do you pay for a trillion dollar brain? You don't do it with coding assistance. You do it by becoming essential to every human on the planet. You need enterprise adoption. You need schools. You need hospitals. You need ChatGPT Health. So, what actually was introduced this week? ChatGPT Health which has transformed it from being not just a chatbot anymore, but a dedicated encrypted space. A separate lab, separate memory, separate rules. And it connects securely to your life. So if you're in the United States, it links to medical records via a partner called Be Well. It talks to Apple Health, MyFitnessPal, Peloton. And here is a very important disclaimer, that is not Dr. GPT writing prescriptions. OpenAI is very clear, designed to support, not replace, clinicians. And let us understand, what can this new platform deliver? Here it is. It translates confused lab results into plain English. It prepares questions before you see a doctor. It tracks your sleep and cholesterol trends. And more crucially, health chats are not used to train their models. Privacy is the bottom line. But why move into health? Well, because... You're already doing it. OpenAI's data shows 230 million people globally ask health questions every week. 40 million people a day. 5% of all traffic on the platform. The demand is screaming. And in the United States, 70% of people think the healthcare system is in crisis. And you know what? They're absolutely right. People are skipping doctors because, well, they're broke. In places which are 30 minutes from care, also referred to as hospital deserts, ChatGPT is already the first line of defense. We had knowledge, of course, of this about two years ago. OpenAI is slowly turning into a healthcare company. We had mentioned this. First, it was introduced for radiology summaries. Now, it's the interface between you and a broken system. But they are not just focusing on your medical files. No, they are actually focused on your textbooks. Yes, and they are, of course, achieving this by building a parallel stack for education while health launches. ChatGPT for teachers, a secure workspace, unlimited GPT 5.1. Teachers can turn a textbook into a 20-day plan or generate graded examples. It's free for US K-12 teachers till the end of 2027. And for students, they have study mode, which is truly a game changer. It uses Socratic questioning. It guides you. It acts like a tutor, not a cheat sheet, which pretty much means it does not just give you the answer. Elon's vision is becoming a product direction. 
one AI, your personal doctor, your personal tutor, available 24 by 7. Which brings us to the question which I'm pretty sure you all are already thinking about, which is, is this the end of doctors and teachers? No, not at all. But it is the end of paying humans to do robotic work. AI explains the insurance fine print. AI preps the lesson plan. AI tracks the diet, which makes the information layer of these industries basically free. But AI isn't holding your hand in the ICU. It isn't managing the trauma of a bullied teenager. Hospitals and schools don't disappear. But their business models are about to dramatically change. For our Indian viewers, health is rolling out globally. But the deep record integration is US only for right now. Which, of course, gives our regulators a window. We get to watch the experiment with a very keen focus before we become the subjects ourselves. And in conclusion, the bottom line, here it is. The front page take. So to justify a $1.4 trillion bill, OpenAI cannot just be a website you visit for coding help. It needs to be the operating system of your life. It needs the things you rely on most, which is learning and healing. So if they pull this off, the first industries to truly change won't be the arts. It will be the two institutional systems we complain about the most. And of course, needless to say, OpenAI is betting the house on it. The question is, should we trust them with our file? And I'd like to say this right now, pause and say this before I ask and request for your comments. Since we started this news with Elon Musk, I would like to say this. Mr. Musk, if you are watching, please fix the horrible feature which has been introduced on Grok. That being said, this is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe. Think AI. Think ChatGPT Health. Think AIM. Thank you.